Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and we're going for the Artifact of the Crag today. In fact, we're going for multiple Artifacts of the Crag today. I went ahead and went back to the island, bred up an otter, and brought it back here. Actually, I bred up a pair of breeding otters so that all the boys can have an otter now. We've done this cave once before in single player mode, in creative mode, um, just to show you the path. Now we're going to do it legit on the back of a thyla so let's cue up to music and we'll get right to it all right so all you need is a thyla in this cave and it will fit everywhere you need to go you won't need to pot it up or anything like that so yeah this is a great cave for a thyla. If you haven't got one yet, get one. If you haven't got a halfway decent saddle, get one. Now, this um, yeah, this journey is gonna this gonna take a little bit of time to get through here. I found a lot of scorpions in this cave. Um, there are onyx. I should have brought some healing potions. You know the healing salves or whatever they're called. And I should have brought some lesser antidote, but I didn't. You know because you can get rabies in here. It's a distinct possibility, so I definitely recommend bringing those. If you got a thyla, I recommend bringing a thyla. A megatherium would do pretty good in here too because of the high concentration of bugs. Um, but there's more than just bugs. There's rubble golems. There's capros. There's wolves. There's um, saber-toothed tigers. You know, no snakes, I don't think. Um, but I did see some coelacanths in the water, <laughs> so you got those as well. All right, so we got two different paths we could take here. The one to the left has some beautiful onyx over there. There's a handful of them. Looks like a scorpion in the water as well. Uh, we're gonna go to the right. Now it does get a little wonky in here. Be careful. I've got my um, thylus set on neutral. And if I get knocked off by a capra, I immediately have my spear in my hand. So I can go ahead and start poking him in the face while the uh, Thyla does some damage to him. So I'm ready for combat in that regard. As far as the Rubble Golems go, you know, if you want, you can fight them. You don't have to. I don't recommend fighting them unless you, you know, you want to mine their resources and all that. Otherwise, screw it. Just let them, you know, just avoid them. There's nothing that great about them that uh, you want. They're a little tanky. They can inflict some damage. Oh, he's trying to infect me. Alright, the Onik is dead. Now, Scorpions will give you Bob's Tall Tail maps. In theory. I haven't got any from them today. And I've been through this uh, cave a couple times. So, you know, like I said, in theory they will. But as you can see, we've collected none so far. And I thought there's a lot of scorpions in this cave. Yeah, look at that. They just keep coming over the ridge here. We'll just keep giving them a hard time. And yeah, that'd be a nice one to tame right there, wouldn't it? 145. Yikes. Not sure if creatures are tameable in this cave. We're going to have to look into that uh, a little bit later on, maybe. Maybe I'll come in here with some taming gear. And we'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah, we got baby direwolves here, too. But yeah, I can endless parade of scorpions. Wow. So you can go right or left here. We're going to go right this time. I usually go left. This takes us... Oh, there we go. Another scorpion. Yeah, I think both paths lead to the same spot anyway. 
Yeah, if we could take this water, I believe, all the way back to the front. Maybe. Alright, let's see what we got in here. So I haven't found the tall tales in a in a bag yet. I'm not sure if they drop in the bag or if it's an automatic thing. I don't know. But yeah, there's scorpions in the water everywhere, man. Holy cow. Yeah, see this is where we split off. We go back that way. It's just a different method to get to the same place. I got a pissed off rubble golem. Yeah, let's kill this wolf. Oh yeah, look at him. He's throwing rocks. Gonna be bug killing bugs there, buddy. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Alright. We're moving on. You know, of course, just like any other cave, you could do it on foot. Do I recommend that? Eh, it depends on how brave you are. Got a red drop. And I can see the artifact right up ahead. See it in that back room there. Let's kill this Onik. And I got rabies. Cool. Alright, well, I don't see any more Onik in here, so we should be alright. Rabies only take a couple hundred points of my health off. I got food. I'm a little hungry already. So when the damage stops being inflicted, I'll get in there and eat a piece of food. Get the healing process beginning. A second infection probably won't kill me, but a third one would be tough. So I'm going to want to recover some health before we move on. That much I can tell you. Clear all these guys out before we go get that drop. I don't know what the wolves are waiting for. Animals sometimes are a little buggy, you know. But look at that spider. Normally they would just aggro right on you. But not today. Alright, you guys done? As you can see, the thigh was taken. A little bit of damage on this run, but nothing horrible. And we're not rocking a particularly amazing saddle. You know, 66.2. Nothing special, nothing crazy. And we're almost done. So yeah, that dropped us a couple hundred points of health. Let's go ahead and eat once. Now that we're healing, it's going to want to eat more. Um, okay, we got a mediocre pick and a paintbrush. So that's this red drop. Last time I was in here, it was very disappointing as well. It gave me, I think, arrows and a couple grenades. It was awful. I mean, almost like a joke, you know, at this point. Get rid of this guy. I think that's all that's in here. Sometimes I see it. Oh, no. There we go. All right, well, this guy's a level 10. We're just going to chew him up. But even at level 10, they can tank a hit, you know? Alright, now last time I was in here, there was a lot more enemies. Especially scorpions. But I did take a different route too, so that might have something to do with it. Not sure. You know, all the roads lead to the same location anyway, but still, it could have impacted it somewhat. Now, when's the last time you've seen a uh, level 10 creature take this many hits from a decent phyla? Yeah, it's been a while, right? Alright. So here's our beautiful artifact. 
artifact of the crag. Um, you also get a skin with this one if you saw my other video. I think it's the torch skin. The Scorched torch skin. Yeah, that's it right there. Which is perfect. Now if you have a otter like me and you access his inventory, you see this dude can handle multiple artifacts. He's the only creature in the game, including you, that can pick up more than one artifact at a time. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these guys for artifact runs, especially if you're on a solo game and you just don't want to do that cave over and over again. You can get your artifact, then you can go out and camp a little, little ways away. You don't have to go too far. You usually go right above these hexagons here. And just sit tight and wait for the artifact to respawn. Let me get up there real quick. Look at all those bags. You know, and I can kind of see it right, right from here. If I'm up higher, hold on. You know, I can see in that room right from here, and I'll see, it, see it come back. Now, last time I did it to get four artifacts, it took me approximately uh, about ten minutes of wait time to get all of them, which, quite honestly, is not bad. It takes a lot longer on the island. I think the island, the first artifact, comes back fairly rapidly, a minute or two. Uh, it's that second respawn that takes a long time. And I mean like 30 minutes or so. It's kind of brutal. So, you know, while you're waiting on it, if you want, you can just continue to run back and forth through the cave. Creatures will be respawning. You can go ahead and, you know, farm up some chitin, farm up some meat. You can sit there and force feed your creature to heal him. Um, you know, go drop hunting, whatever, whatever you want to do to keep you busy. There's a lot to do in this cave. But we're just going to get ourselves out of here safely. That's our other onyx. Alright, he's hurting. A little bit. Be a very simple cave overall. And I haven't fully explored to find any secrets and stuff like that. I know there's a note right here in this uh, rib cage. I haven't found any others as of yet, but you can see it right there opened up. What do I hear? I hear bad things. I see a scorpion up there, kind of stuck on those hexagons. Another one up there. Is that one right? Yeah, right above me too. Things are everywhere. I think I saw Megalanian here so well before, or was that the other? That might have been the other cave. Yeah, Megalosaurus and Megalania are in the second cave. The next one I'm going to do. So stay tuned tomorrow, and we'll check that cave out together. Do the same thing. It can uh, You can use a thyle in there, but you got to be careful because there's a couple choke points where you need to pot it up. So if you don't have the ability to pot up your thyle and throw them back out, then you could be in trouble. go. Put the wolves down. Yeah, we're actually a little way down now. That's okay. I do want to come home with all this chitin and all this other good stuff. Yeah, here's our uh, spot with... Look at that. More, more scorpions. Well, let's take them on. A non-aggressive mantis for some reason? Okay. We got an otic drowning himself in the background. Yeah, we're actually walking away with a fairly decent amount of polymer too, organic polymer from all these mantis in here. You know we have fought a few of them. Let's go ahead and dump something here. Uh, we'll dump that and that. We'll dump that. Yeah, definitely the hide.
these don't weigh anything, but still for clutter purposes, we'll get rid of that. And we're going to go ahead and open just a little more damage. So we should be out of the cave here shortly. I want to show you the whole route back. And just like when you go in, it's always head down to get to the artifact. And on the way out, it's always head up. At least vaguely up. Sometimes it'll backtrack a little bit and take you down briefly, but not for long. And here we are. Oh, look at that. One more scorpion to kill before it's all over. Fantastic. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up today's episode of Ark Survival Ascended. If you found this useful at all, please leave a like on it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.